Okay, so this is a uh, second optimization video that I've created. Um, I've been doing a lot of testing and I've found that Atmos's uh, DirectX 8 to DirectX 9 has a significant improvement in performance over DG Voodoo. So uh, I'm gonna go through this as quickly as I can. Um, this video might be longer uh, in the time because I'm just showing some test results at the end of the video. You don't have to stay that long. But for the beginning of this video, I'm just gonna go over how to set this up. Okay, so first, let's go to your NVIDIA control panel. I'm gonna drag it down, because I already have mine open. I'm gonna go to Manage 3D Settings. First, we'll go from Global to Program. And under Program, you'll select your program to customize, which is your Horizon Game Bootloader. So mine is gonna be horizonloader.exe. You'll get to this here by adding. So hit your add and then select your loader. Um, once this is loaded in, uh, you're gonna wanna just uh, copy what I have here because this is, out of all the hours of testing I've done, these are the best settings that I've come up with. Uh, Anti-aliasing can't be used. So if someone's telling you to throw a 16X in here, well, it's not actually doing anything. You cannot force anti-aliasing even if you put it in uh, override mode. Can't be done. I've tried. Background application max frame rate, 60 FPS. By default, this will probably have like a global setting of off. Just put it to 60. And then the most important one here is max frame rate of 60 FPS. Make sure you put that in there. Down below, if you're on a laptop, desktop, desktop probably you already have this preferred, but if you're on a laptop, make sure you have your 3080, 3080 selected and maximum performance here. Uh, texture filtering, Filtering quality, I put high quality here. Uh, negative uh, lo load bias, uh, allow. Trillioner optimization. I don't know why this keeps going on. on. It should be off. Might be in my global setting that way. Um, triple buffering, I put on. I'm still testing that, but uh, you can try it. Um, vertical stick, I put on fast because we're going over the 60 frame rate um, with FPS zero uh, when we get to that part. Um, but I put it on fast here. That's it for these settings. I'll scroll back up real slow so you can see. Okay, so we're done in there. Uh, the next thing we're doing is we're downloading the Atmos uh, DLL file. So this is the page here. I'll have that link down below on the video. Um, actually, it's on this one here. So you can download it. On, it's the 1.1 version here. You'll see 1.1. Uh, it's down at the bottom here in the attachments. Download this here, or you can download it from my YouTube as well. I think I'll have. I think I'll be able to update, it, upload it there. Um, but one key point I want to point out is right here. This is what caught my eye. Atmos states this uh, fixes all the rendering issues I was facing. FPS is solid. 60 have set. Uh, no issues of slowdown, lag, input delay, making the game fully playable. So I put that to the test. And um, I will say with guarantee, I have not had any slowdown or input delay so far. Okay. Um, next thing is where do we place the DLL is right inside of your bootloader. So Final Fantasy XI, Ryzen XI, game, bootloader. By default, you'll have these two files right here. You're gonna wanna add these two files from the download. This is all you should have in that directory then. So the next thing, you need to do this. This is with warning that you, if you don't do this, you're gonna have issues. So you need to do this. This is a manual process that everyone needs to do. So you'll double click on this configuration file right here. It's gonna open up. You can open up in your notepad or if you have notepad plus plus scroll all the way down to the bottom all the way down to the bottom and it says fix shadow z fighting enable this by default this will be zero you need to set this to one okay done with that the next thing you can do it's not a requirement but i definitely would do it is go to your final fantasy 11 horizon game and then scripts folder okay 
inside of your scripts folder is going to be your default script when the game launches. Add the FPS0 command down here. Now, um, scroll down to plugin and add on configurations. Make sure that it's below this weight 3 and within this configuration parameter right here. You can copy these if you want. I really do like the uh, draw distance set world parameter and um, the other one set mob. These are personal preference, but set world. I really do feel like this adds a nice level of immersion when you can set the render distance. This is not optimal for people who have maybe a lesser performance graphics card. Uh, I'm running a 3080. I have no problems running it at uh, running the draw distance a little bit further. This cam setting, these cam settings are personal uh, to what I like. And uh, I use Remapster, so I add that in there as well. Okay. So every time the game launches, you'll immediately see that um, the FPS is uncapped, but it is capped using your NVIDIA profiler. All right, so done with that. Um, the next thing, and this is important because this, is, was, this was from my testing of what I found out, that um, background resolution is, is just... It was a mess trying to figure this out. Who was right, who was not necessarily wrong, but what was kind of a, a misunderstanding of how textures are, are, are rendered right now in, in modern day, right? So everyone's using a 16 by nine, 16 by 10 ratio, right? Um, so when we do our background resolution, we don't necessarily want to do a 2X multiplier, okay? We wanna do a one and a half X. I tested this with, a 1.0 multiplier to a 1.4 and then a 1.6 to a 2x multiplier and none of them looked that good uh, so my recommendation is 1.5 multiplier so i'm running a resolution of 2560 by 1440 if you multiply both of those numbers by 1.5 i get 3840 by 2160 trust me on this i did a lot of testing this works phenomenal and it gives you Great, great, non-blurry and non-jaggy edges everywhere. It gives you a nice super sampling buffer. It looks great. Trust me on this. If you have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, you're going to run 2880 by 1620. And if you're one of those alpha males with a 5120 by 1440, then you're going to do 7680 by 2160. Um, with the Atmos wrapper, the other change I want to make from my previous video is that you can crank mit mapping now. Now, granted, this is probably not an optimal setting, but I was able to crank this on my 38 and I'm not having any issues at all. And it looks phenomenal. So if you have a really good graphics card or if you just want to test it, crank the six. I don't need to be have this at two anymore. Um, and also I, I also put on bump mapping, uh, graf graphic stabilization now. I have no issues whatsoever. Um, so for setting up the wrapper, that's, that's it. That's all you have to do. The, 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 if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, that's great. But I'm going to launch this just so that you can see how good this looks now that I've optimally tested and found the best settings for uh, at least a 1080 or higher, or if you have a 5600 XT or higher in the AMD. So you, I'm going to notice that because I have my uh, command line set, it launches at 60. And this actually allows me to log into the server faster um, because of the animation. And the number one thing I want to note here is how clear and clean this background looks. There's, there's nothing shimmering at all, not just because of mint mapping, but because of the 1.5x multiplier. Nothing is shimmering. Everything looks super smooth. Um, and it's just clear and it just clean. And we're in. So the last thing I want to show you is an actual test that I, that I did with someone in the game after I made all these settings. Um, and I just did a quick video of like, just to see if like uh, songs were going to create like input lag of any sort. Um, and it, the results are pretty good. So I had uh, Brock Chest Hair and Catgirl Ooh over here to help me. 
um, really show how good this looks. And granted, in the beginning, you might see a little bit of lag because I got a couple people um, populating in here, but it's not because of the songs. So just watch this all the way through and you'll see that this is actually working really well. I have no issues. And I, I start running around in the video and just so I could show you that this is actually pretty well. No slowdown whatsoever. So thank you, Brock, and thank you, Catgirl, for your help there. Um, if you have any questions on this, um, you know, just like everyone's been doing, just drop in my DMs, and I'll try to help you out. I hope this was helpful for everybody, but so far I have not had any issues with this Atmos wrapper in comparison to DG Voodoo. I've noticed that there was render lag. I've had no render lag using this, and I hope this helps everyone else out. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone has a great night. See you later.